Hey guys, if you want to see my review and lip swatches of these new Burberry Lip Velvet Crush Sheer Matte Lip Stains, then keep on watching. Alright guys, so let's just get started. Um, I'm sorry this video is going up a little later. Um, my internet has been kind of going crazy the last two days. I've had just maybe internet for a couple minutes here and there and then it just completely gets disconnected. So um, the repair people weren't able to come until a couple of hours ago. So hopefully this um, problem has been fixed. So let's just get into it now. All right, so these new Burberry lip products, the reason why I'm not doing a first impressions, like an on-camera first impressions for you guys is because I really wanted to see how long um, this lip stain would work for me, just so I could give you my opinion and my kind of experience with these um, throughout the day. So that's why this is just gonna be a review and some lip swatches for you, so I can tell you in detail how these worked for me. So these are the three colors I purchased. This one is kind of a peachy, nude, um, my lips but better sort of shade for my skin tone at least. Um, it's very easy to wear kind of on a daily basis. Um, just put this in your purse and it will kind of go with everything. And um, I think even if you have like medium skin tones, this will be very flattering as well. This shade is super, super pretty, very unique. I think this will be flattering on all skin tones, from the fairest of fair to the deepest of deep. It's this very nice kind of bright cranberry color. There's a lot of kind of pinky tones in there. And this is just kind of perfect for the fall, the upcoming fall season. So I would highly recommend this shade if you're on the lookout for this type of a lip color, uh, lip stain. And then this, um, is kind of a light uh, a light pink. So I think this will probably look best on a fair to a light skin tone. So I will show you at the end of this video some lip swatches of these shades um, so you can see them in action. So let me just go into detail about how these worked for me. So let me just show you the component. It's very, it's, it's nice in my opinion, but maybe a lot of people wanted something a little bit more kind of bougie and upscale, but I still think it looks nice. It's a clean looking component. I have nothing against this component. I think it's very nice looking. Totally fine with how this component looks, this lip stain product, just aesthetically speaking. So then you have the shade on the cap, which is nice. You know, if you're in your makeup collection, you're in a hurry, you just want to grab the shade and go without having to like scour the label for the sh particular shade name. You know how it is. So I appreciate that. And then when you take off the cap, the um, applicator looks like this. So it's kind of like a spongy applicator like this. And um, initially, I thought I felt so stupid. I really shouldn't even tell you guys this story. But this is how kind of um, lame I am at times. So when I first was trying to test this out initially, I was like, oh, okay. So maybe, you know, it dispenses the color, the shade by just pressing, by pressure. So I thought, okay, if you, the more pressure I exert on my lips, then that's how the product is going to be released. Not so much. The product is released um, from this bottom component. You kind of twist it up like this. You can hear the it twisting. And then the product comes out like that. You can see now the wet product at the tip of the applicator the sponge applicator. So let me just tell you, at first I wasn't even going to purchase any of these because I thought, oh my gosh, with like brighter colors or deeper colors, uh, just like this shade, I was just thinking like how can you be precise in your application? You know, the especially brighter or deeper, more vampy shades are just going to kind of get like all over your face. They're going to move around. You can't stay within your natural kind of lip line. So I was like, oh my gosh, like that just looks kind of like a disaster waiting to happen. But I was just so curious about these products, so I thought, okay, come on, let's at least get three shades and then you can just make up your mind um, and see how you like them. So let me just tell you, um, for the lighter shades, for instance, that kind of the pink shade, the kind of My Lips But Better peachy nude shade, you know, there's no issues with applying <clears throat> the product straight from 
um, the applicator just right onto your lips. Like there's no issues with that. It's very easy to do. Um, <clears throat> but for these deeper kind of brighter shades like this, I can still apply it without um, having to use like a lip brush and uh, dipping into this or or they say they suggest using like a q-tip um, and then kind of putting it on that way but I just have to be very sort of careful very cognizant of where I place the product but um, but I can do it just without um, either a lip brush or a q-tip but I will show you on camera just without that but I would suggest um, if you are going to use kind of a vampier, darker, or brighter shade, I would suggest either putting your lip brush in there or a Q-tip. And I know that's super kind of annoying and kind of a hassle. So, you know, if you are interested in these um, Burberry lip stains, then I would suggest using one of the lighter shades or my lips but better type of shades for your skin tone because then there's really no issue with application. Um, kind of a quick application. So what are my thoughts on this product? First off, I actually really enjoyed this lip stain. It's hard for me to find a lip stain that I really kind of enjoy that where it's just kind of comfortable upon first application and that the stain kind of lasts longer than a couple hours. So at least for me, uh, from personal experience. But with these Burberry lip stains, <clears throat> oh my goodness. When you first apply these onto your lips, it really just feels like you have this sort of... Um, bougie expensive spa like um, lip mask on your lips the only kind of similar feeling I can think of is when you have those kind of um, like the glam glow lip mask or something like it just feels very sort of nourishing I guess that's the word I'm thinking of it's it's not like you have a, a balm or a gloss it's more of a nourishing lip mask type of feeling like it feels really good your lips just feel very good very comfortable and like you're doing something very beneficial for your lips. So I really, really, really appreciate that. And it really does impart a very nice kind of glossiness initially. And then when I started eating um, my lunch, you know, I was kind of worried that it would just kind of get everywhere. But actually it didn't, at least on me, it didn't get everywhere. Um, and then after eating, that shininess had kind of dissipated. And so what was left was the actual lip stain with these are, you know, what these are, a lip stain. So it really did have a nice kind of, so I really did have a nice kind of a stain going um, for about four or five hours before I had to reapply it and then kind of deepen up the stain and have the stain kind of become more prominent, more evident again. Oh, oh, and let me just say on the initial kind of application process, it's very easy to build up. So if you just want a light sort of stain, you can just go over your lips once and then you'll have like a barely there kind of hint of color type of stain. But for me, I still want the color to be evident even in a lip stain. That's what, that way it lasts longer. So I really kind of went in two or three times and it was very easy to build up without making a mess. And I don't know, I just really like these products. They are super pricey. They're 30 bucks a piece, but it is Burberry. So that's kind of to be expected. But I was just overall just very happy with this product because I kind of went in thinking, oh my goodness, this is just gonna be a complete mess. This is gonna be a hot mess on me. I'm gonna look like a hot mess basically. Um, but no, it actually worked out quite well. But like I said, for the deeper, vampier, brighter colors like this, you know, I would suggest if you want to be more precise, use a lip brush or use a Q-tip, dunk it into this and apply it on your lips. But, you know, if that's too much of a hassle, I get it. Just stick to the kind of lighter, more muted colors and you'll have no problem with application. Um, but yeah, I would totally give these lip stains like an A- minus or so. Like they're very good, very comfortable. They are kind of my new favorite lip stains. So yeah, I can show you what these look like now on my lips. I'll, I'll build them up a couple of times. You can kind of see um, how the color builds up on the lips. So yeah, let's get to the lip swatches.
All right, guys, so that's into my lip swatches of these three shades. So as you saw with this kind of deeper cranberry color, it is possible to just, you know, apply it straight from the applicator. But like I said, I would suggest using a Q-tip or a lip brush, dip into this and then apply it just so you can be as, as precise as possible. Sorry for the repetition. Um, but yeah, I really love these. The stains that these kind of impart on your lips are just very flattering. And you know, and if you want to build up the stain later on in the day, you know, after you've eaten or whatever, you can totally do that. It's very simple, very easy. And I just love how kind of nourished my lips feel. You know, there's no other lip stain that I've tried at least where you have this kind of nourished um, kind of lip mask sort of feel when you wear these on your lips. So I totally wear this shade like on Thanksgiving or on Christmas. Ugh. So anyway, that's my short kind of review and you and my experience with these Burberry lip stains. But I would suggest trying at least one shade. They're just so comfortable and it's nice, especially if you're on the lookout for a good quality lip stain. These are it. So yeah, and if you're nervous about the deeper, brighter, vampier colors, then pick a more kind of nude lip or my lips with better type of lip and then you're just kind of good to go. It's very easy to apply. So yep, hope everything is going really well with you guys. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.